Hello, hello, welcome to another vlog. If you are new, I am Brianna Deshay. If you are not new, hey girl, hey girl, welcome back. Thank you for coming around the block again. Um, today I will just be doing a daily vlog. We need to do a little cleaning, um, do a little bit of, you know, I don't know, relaxation. It's Sunday. Um, so we're going to see what we're going to get into. But anywho, it is so nice outside today. Like literally it's like 60 degrees and it just made me so happy when we went out today. And I was just like, yes, spring is almost here. Spring is almost here for New Mexico. It is almost here. Tell me guys, how do you, when it starts getting warmer outside, doesn't it make you feel like it's time to get things done. It's time to get out the funk. It's time to get from up under that shell. Stop hibernating. It's time to get outside. That's what warm weather <laughs> um, does to me. But anyways, let me finish getting this house together. I will talk to you guys in just a little second. So as you guys can see, my couch is a mess. I have been doing laundry all day, but that was going to actually be another vlog. It's probably already up by the time you watch this vlog. You can hear my dryer, my washer. Everything is going right now because we're about to get this house together. Ugh. All right, so I need to run to Walmart. We went out this morning. I went to Target and Family Dollars, but of course I forgot foil. I forgot an onion for our dinner tonight. So that's what I'm about to do. Uh, get that, you know, get that stuff so I can stay in the house and I will show you guys. Well, I will talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so I'm about to cook dinner because it's only 2.30, but it's Sunday. I'm like, I'm gonna go ahead and start to cook because I wanna just chill the rest of this day. I don't wanna be doing anything. So we're gonna do that. And I'm just gonna, we're just gonna be making some uh, baked chicken thighs. Nothing. Nothing too, nothing too crazy, guys. Just some baked chicken. Um, and some green beans, and I don't know what else we're gonna do. But I'm just gonna put a little olive oil in my bake pan. Just to smooth it out and season it. I'll see you guys in a second.
Okay, so the oven is heating up, and I'm going to show you guys what I had got from Target. All right, so we went to Target earlier to get some, like, laundry essentials and things like that. But while I was in there, you know, you can never go to Target and get exactly what you were going for. So these towels, kitchen towels, I thought were so cute. Just look at that. It says, my kitchen, my rules, adorable. And then it was a two-pack. This was only $5. This is just the plain stripes. I just thought these were cute uh, for my kitchen. And then it's a love month. I'm not really a romance type of book reader. I like more psychologicals and other types of books. But I thought uh, this one has a little bit of mysterious in it. So I was like, let me give it a try. This is in called In Five Years by Rebecca Searle. I think that's how Searle, Searle, however you pronounce her last name. But I wanted to give this a try, read. Um, I'm not good. I used to love paperback books. I still read a lot of, I still like to read um, hard copy books. But the way my life set up, the way my child set up, it's hard for me to actually sit down with the book, right? So I do a lot of audio books because I can do that while I'm at work. I can listen to it while I'm driving, um, you know, different things. Uh, at nighttime, I can listen to it. So I was like, I haven't had a paperback book or a hard copy book in a while. So I wanted to get back and try my best to get find some time to actually read uh, paperbacks because I just love the actual feeling of a book. <laughs> holding a book but once I had my child I learned how to I had to learn how to adapt <laughs> to still get my books in still read because I have always been like a, a reader I have always loved reading don't get to read as much anymore because of mom life work life wife life all of the things but that is something that I have always enjoyed since I was like little my child loves to read, she gets that for me. But just actually finding quiet time, <laughs> and sometimes it can be a little tricky. But I'm gonna, that's one of my goals for this year. I wanna get back into carving out that quiet time to actually read physical copy books again. But anyways, I will talk to you guys in just a second. Oh, and we actually got this helmet for my baby for her bike for the spring since it's been we've been having a lot of nice weather days so she got a new helmet for her bike Large green beans so we're about to just dump it in there easy peasy I was gonna do fresh green beans but I wasn't in the mood for all that so we're gonna work what we got so I just drained the uh, potatoes I probably should have got oh, three cans of this but 
I only did two. It is what it is. Now we're about to season our green beans. So I just put some of this uh, Tony's Creole seasoning in there and we're gonna add some black pepper. I'm almost out of black pepper, so I definitely need to go pick up some more black pepper. And um, in my green beans, I like the minced garlic in a jar. So we're gonna put a couple teaspoons in there. So we're just gonna get a couple teaspoons. I like them very garlicky. If you don't, that's your business. So now that that's done, I mean, now that I season it, I'm gonna add all these onions because I also like a lot of onions. So we're just gonna scoop these onions into there like that. Like I said, I wish I would have got three cans, three of the large cans and not just two, but we're gonna make this work. Turn my stove back on. And we're just gonna stir this up so the potatoes can kind of come up to the front. And we're gonna let it boil a little bit more. So when I cook my potatoes, I don't boil it a long time because it's also gonna boil in here and get softer. So, but I do it just enough, you know? Cause these are canned green beans. Now if these were regular green beans, fresh green beans, green beans, then I would just put it all together actually. But since it's canned green beans technically already done, and then fresh green beans, I do it this way. All right, so just let me know how you guys are day going. It's Sunday for me, and it's been a pretty chill, laid back Sunday. I felt like I was a little productive. I got laundry done. We went and made it. Sorry, my daughter is so loud right now. Um, but we did a couple errands, cooking dinner, getting stuff ready for the work week. So I feel like it's been productive. Um, it's still only like three o'clock. So, no, I think it's four o'clock, four o'clock now. So in a little bit, I'm actually gonna just chill and kind of get my like downtime uh, that I usually like to do on Sundays. Also, I like to have productive and downtime. So, um, the other day, not this today, I, be, I promise I go to Target like two or three times a week. Actually, I didn't even get this from Target. I got this from the, I think I got this from CVS. I was in CVS getting something. And I was like, oh, I just wanna try this. Have anybody tried the spicy sriracha um, popcorn? I'm not really a popcorn girl, but I thought I'd try this out. So that's just my timer on my oven. About to get the chicken out and then take it for you off and let it sit in there for about 10, 15 more minutes. So, also making just two packs of this. This is an easy peasy, no homemade type of ordeal with this Sunday dinner. But I'm about to get my saucepan together. So yeah, I want it simple. I want it simple today. I was just not in the mood to do a whole lot, a whole lot. Of. <laughs> so this is what this is what the kids are getting today. But they get into die. All right. <clears throat> so I just need to put some butter in there. Or no, I can do I can do the vegetable oil. Don't have any, so I'm gonna have to use the good old butter. I bought this the other day and it is so good. Like, I, I always love the tea, but I always usually get the uh, the packets where you make the hot tea. So this is my first time trying the cold one. Um, and it's the passion flavor. Yummy. Don't 
So good. All right, so Lily is about to make, make something for my friends. Yeah, we're gonna do these. Uh, we're gonna do these treat bags for Valentine's Day. Finally, put them together, and she wants to do it. So we're gonna let her. I'm just gonna tie them up when she's done. But yeah, that's what whew, we're about to do. Pull it, baby. Okay, I get it. It's okay. Thank you. Okay, so we have our little station up and we're about to do our treat bag. I'll tie it up and you do the next one. All right, so treat bags are all complete. Don't judge our little box because we do what we do, what we have to do. <laughs> Anyways, done with that. So there's one last thing off the list that we have to do in the next week. So it's already done. Boom. Dinner's done. Alrighty guys, I am just sitting on the couch. I'm about to grab that book and try to read a little bit more, but I hope you enjoy this little day in my life. Um, I will talk to you guys in the next vlog, please. Excuse me, baby. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Why not? It costs you nothing. If you want to be here. If you want to be here, subscribe. But anyways, in the next video. <laughs> Bye.